Hey guys, how's it going? Another video from me. Are you excited? Side note, can you tell I finally washed my hair? Um, I don't wash my hair every day uh, just because it's really bad for it in general because it strips all the natural oils out of your hair. But since I got my hair dyed on Monday, I wanted to make sure that the, the dye had time to really um, sit on my hair and soak in. I mean, I think you're supposed to wait 24 hours, but I went like three days without washing my hair. I mean, I used dry shampoo on it and I still bathed, don't get me wrong. It wasn't like I was dirty or anything. I just didn't wash my hair for three, four days. Um, so anyway, I'm getting ready for Christmas, setting the tree up, pulled, pulled it out of the box here. Now I just got to finish decorating it and decorating my apartment as far as I got um, but I was going to say, so we, Millie and I, went to the doggy park for the first time today, and she absolutely loved it. Um, oh, about the park. So the park that we went to, like, it's a, a Harris County park, and I actually used to go to that park all the time when I was little with my family, and it was really cool because they had this like maze thing and it, like in it they had like some swings and some like different play things for like kids to play on and it was like a legit maze like you had to go through and there'd be dead ends and everything and it was so much fun well um as I got a little bit older they actually like trimmed down the bushes so that you could see over them because I guess they were having a problem with people like hiding in there and snatching people and like pedophiles and stuff because it was like for kids so they like trimmed it down and then today when we were trying to go and find the dog park of the park um i drove by that area and the bushes are now completely gone which is it's sad that it like comes to this where like people ruin it for everybody because i remember being so much fun running around there and like trying to find the center and getting lost and it was just so much fun and i remember how like the fun was ruined when they trimmed the bushes and now the fact that they're not there anymore at all is just sad anyway so we went to the dog park for the first time and i was kind of nervous because she's never gone before she doesn't have a lot of experience with other dogs because i mean she's seen other dogs but the problem is she's so hyper because she's only five months old guys she's just a little puppy um a lot of the dogs around here are older and they're just like okay dog get away from me i don't want all that craziness so um so I go there, and the best part was they had they have two dog parks. They've got one for bigger dogs and one for smaller dogs. So I think it's, you know, under 25 pounds and over 25 pounds. So obviously we were in the small dog park, and um, so yeah, I was a little a little worried. And so I go in there, and there's a bunch of other people there and their dogs, and it's like craziness, and the dogs are going crazy. And someone's like, well, what you gotta do is you you need to get her off the leash, and you need to walk around because there's so much high energy when you are right at the gate and when dogs are on their leashes she's like I don't know what it is but as soon as you get that leash off and you walk around they're fine and they play and that's exactly what happened she had um an absolute blast playing with the other little doggies and in fact she kind of was like the little ringleader it was kind of funny because she was the smallest dog there she's five pounds guys she is tiny 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 but she had them wrapped around her little paw and funny because the, the big dog park is right next to it. They actually like share a fence divider. And there were some other dogs over there that she was like playing with through, to through the fence. Like she just had them all wrapped up. She was the little ringleader. But now she is absolutely exhausted. She passed out in the car ride home. Um, now she's just kind of walking around. But I can tell she's pretty tired right now. She's probably going to find a comfy spot soon and just crash out because she's just exhausted so that was good I mean I'm excited now I know now I know where the dog park is and I know that she's gonna be fine um, so but yeah she just had a blast running around and playing with them so yeah she plays other well with other dogs that's a good thing and she loves people she was really friendly to all the other people there and it was just a lot of fun and it was fun to hang out with other dog owner there she goes in her bed now she's gonna fall asleep so yeah um and I think it was really good for her too just because she was finally able to run which without a leash because um when I take her out here I always have to have her on a leash um just being in the apartment complex and she just likes to run around and I would 
you know, my fear would be she would see something and she'd run after and she'd, like, get run over or something. Um, so, she always has to be on the leash, so it was good because it was a nice closed-in area. It was, it was a good size for the small dogs. The big, I just find that the big dog park was actually a lot bigger. But I didn't want to go in there with all the big dogs, although towards the end, there wasn't anybody in there. But she was so tired. She, like, didn't want to play anymore. She was just sitting down at my feet. Um... So, but she, yeah, it's funny because she, when you first see her, she is just a ball of energy. She is running every, well, actually she like hops. It's really funny. She like hops instead of running, but she was running everywhere and everyone's like, oh my gosh, you have your hands full. She's so excited and blah, blah, blah. But you know what? 30 minutes later, she was, she was exhausted. So I think it was good. I mean, I try and walk her, but her being able to run around on her own is definitely, better for her I think and it's you know she really gets to blood out all of that energy because when, when we're walking she can only go as fast as I'm gonna go and I'm not gonna run the entire time um so yeah if you have a dog take them to a dog park let them socialize with the other dogs it's so much fun so now I was a little worried about like some of my aunts have dogs and stuff about her being around them, especially since they're bigger dogs. But I think she's going to be fine. Once they get over the initial, like, get to know you, I'm so excited to see you. Oh, they should be fine. So I'm pretty excited about that. Anyway, I'm going to go now. And I probably should finish decorating. I just got this tree right here. If you don't know, I bought this tree. is from last year. It's a fake tree I bought from Garden Ridge. Because um, here's the thing. Live trees are great, but at the end, it's like, what do you do with it? You gotta throw away, and guess what? Next year, you have to buy a new tree. Bought this last year, guess what? I can use it again this year. Guess what? Next year, too, and the year after that. I mean, my parents have a fake tree, too. Theirs is much bigger than mine, um, but they've had that thing for years and years and years and years. They actually, I think it's the second one we've had. Um, they've, they've been married for, like, 25 years, but, um, yeah. They've had it for a very long time, and it's great because you just, and, and you don't have to worry about it dying or watering it or anything. It's just there. It's, I, I could leave it up all year if I wanted to, and it'd be fine, but I'm not. Um, yeah. Oh, and Millie's doing great with it. There, she has no problem with it. She just kind of was sniffing it earlier, wondering what it was. But yeah, right now, she's a tired little puppy. Can you see her? She's sleeping in her bed. All right. I'm going to go now. Hope you are having a fantastic um, Friday. Black Friday. Did you guys go shopping? I did not. Um, I tried to attend, uh, avoid Black Friday just because it does get a little insane. Although I feel like in Tomball it wouldn't be as bad, but I didn't want to. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was going to say. So I'll see you sometime in the future. Bye, guys.